you'd have to be brain dead not to have realized that social media and mainstream media are the same thing. They are weaponized against truth. They are weaponized against disclosure. They're weaponized against you and me. We are now only a utility of those satanic forces operating out of big tech in Silicon Valley. They want to convert us into money and securities. And that's all we are. And when we don't suit their overarching business plan, they'll press a button and delete us. So that's what we've come to uh, as a civilization. We are in that Orwellian nightmare right now and, you know, and have us pumped full of poisons and you know, transhumanize. I mean, that's their stupid game. I know some of these weirdos. I could call them a whole lot worse, trust me. I mean, but that, I, I've been connected to that echelon. The Boris Johnsons of the world, I hang out with these creatures. I know a lot of these fringe Illuminati people. Many of them are my friends and I love them. I like them. You know, Joshua, it's mm -hmm. not like I've got these creepy customers in Parliament in England right now. They're my peers. They're my age group. They're my generation. I understand how they think. I understand the Etonian mind. I understand the Oxbridge mind. I happen to be a better debater than any of these twats, and that's because I stick to the truth. I simply mm -hmm. stick to pure truth. I don't try and manipulate history or mathematics or physics. I simply speak to the basic truth of that which exists. They can't, because along the way, they all variously lost themselves. They all variously took the Faustian pact. They all variously allow themselves to be pulled into this secret society or this Masonic lodge or this dirty little club, this dirty little uh, you know, cartel with preferential shares that they manage to flick their signature onto and overnight turn them into millionaires. I know how it works. I had that stuff put in front of me. Dirty customers, dirty tricks. They are criminals. They are operating in crime. And those 240-odd governments around the world that have all signed their dirty little treaties with the United Nations and the Bank of International Settlements and the IMF and the World Bank, indenturing and enslaving all of their citizens by stealth bonds into a collateral behind the global financial system, which in and of itself is owned by three godless families and dynastic lines. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> is this really the kind of dream we want collectively? Do we, are we afraid of this? I'm not afraid of this. I'm not afraid of the authority. There is no authority. They're standing in dishonor and disgrace prisoners and I'm not apologetic and I do not give a proverbial F-U-C-K about people's normal pedestrian sensitivities and sensibilities. Why? Because it is those pedestrian and suburban sensibilities and sensitivities that are the gravest existential threat to humanity right now, along with the liberal intellectual mindset, which is actually the mindset that I was born into. I come from that. Those are my people. That's my tribe. Well, it, you know, well-educated people who know how to speak properly are very decent and creative and out there as artists and thinkers and philosophers. Because it's that um, group that have been the enablers of the status quo for the last couple of hundred years without even knowing. Mm -hmm. They yeah. were the good, gentrified people who, you know, were quite benevolent to the peasants and, you know, fought for women's rights and human rights and these rights and those rights and rabbits' rights and God knows what. But that, that echelon was still the echelon that unconsciously were the enablers of the bankers and the mm -hmm. government and the Catholic Church to come in as the intercessionary. To, to interlope and intercede between right. us. And and that's now. why we're in such a weird kind of weaponized social chemistry right now and that everyone's kind of at everyone else's throat. Mm -hmm. And because there is so, so much confusion about where is the manipulation coming from? Because it's the liberal intellectual class think it must be coming from the dirty, scumbag, yes. long-haired, you know, vagabonds like me who are part of the truth you know, community. <laughs> or we think it must be the QAnons and the QAnons think it must come from the Illuminati and the Bilderbergers. And they, you know, so that's how the game's been set up where we are all kind of pitting ourselves against another faction, another demographic. Stupid. That's called auto ab chaos, order out of chaos. That's exactly what these invisible masters uh, have been wanting to engineer, catastrophic failure of the social ecology so that we're all tearing each other's throats out and we look to someone else to come in and save us, the cavalry, which is going to be, you know, some creepy old pedophile, uh, you know, masquerading as a president of America, for instance. You know, mm -hmm. just metaphorically speaking. You know. We don't need to be ruled by dominion and supremacy, which is manipulation, stealth, and, and, and frankly, um, uh, witchery, bedevilment. That's yeah. what's happened to us. We've allowed it to happen. It's crept in. Now we see it. <sighs> Let it go. You determine the outcome to this godless story. And you're not asking the question, oh, but what if? Oh, what's going to happen if? I don't ask that question. I determine mm -hmm. the outcome. So mm -hmm. go to the airport. Go to the immigration authorities. Go to the tax office. Go to the police station. Go to the ministry. Go to parliament. Go to the sheriff's office. Go to the mayor's office and hold these sons of bitches to account and pin them up against a wall, metaphorically speaking, and take a stick to them, metaphorically speaking. That is what you should be doing as a realized human and not shuffling along like a goddamn marmoset, being told what to do and when to do it when it moves again. Your, your soul. Never do anything that offends your conscience. Try and stick a thermometer gun at my head again and I'll punch you in the nose. That is assault. <laughs>
get out of my face. Come at me with injection, I'll shoot you in the face if I've got a gun and if I'm in Texas. That's how I will treat it, if you cross my threshold. So again, what I just said, it's so shocking to so many people because they're trapped inside the imprisonment of this sanctimonious suburban mindset that itself has been culturally programmed. There's no mm -hmm. fire, there's no vim, there's no spunk. There's mm -hmm. nothing, no animus. We have to resurrect ourselves from within the dream spell. Then you will mm -hmm. naturally know how to address these questions, Rach, and you'll mm -hmm. move forward in honor. You never need to be angry or aggressive. You, you'd be kind, but you'd be forceful because you're standing mm -hmm. on the side of truth. 